Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I want to show you a couple updates to uh, two different creations that I'm working on at this time. Um, this is one of them, um, and this is uh, what it looked like last time I showed it. Uh, I had a lot of issues with it. Um, didn't really like these front thrusters in the mix. Uh, I thought the, uh, the body was a little bit too skinny. Um, only had four blocks of height in the hanger. Um, and then I kept on adjusting like the position of the, of the rear thrusters, raising them up or lowering them down or same with the, the front thrusters, trying to get it uh, dialed in. But it had that uh, kind of Cerberus look and I wasn't really going for that. So with all that in mind, I uh, rebuilt it. <laughs> so here is the uh, updated version um, and it changed it quite a bit. Um, to start with, it, it lost the front thrusters completely. Um, I did uh, lower this down another block row through most of the ship, added in uh, one of these uh, bigger uh, ramps on the front. Um, to compensate for the loss of thrusters I had in the in the front assembly on the on the previous version, I did uh, incorporate a couple of the, the large thrusters in to the actual hull uh, this time, but they're in a pretty good spot that's out of the way. Um, on the interior space of the ship and then I've made uh, for the third time um, brand new thrusters uh, for the for the back of the ship um, and these had to have uh, some pretty demanding specs on them um, on how many thrusters they actually incorporated in there so in this one thruster pot it's got basically a, a single uh, reverse uh, down two strafing two lift and two forward thrusters um, so that was a lot of thrusters to dump into that area. There is some separation in here, but um, like there's a separation wall here, uh, I think to some extent here, and uh, other than that. But basically I'm saying that some of the thrusters obviously are touching each other. Um, so maybe not perfect but to get that many thrusters in that amount of space um, I needed to uh, have some that actually physically touched each other so that's kind of how it's coming out now um, I'm definitely uh, definitely happier with the looks of it I think uh, some of these angles look pretty neat I was debating whether or not to have um, at least opportunity to add mining drills on this too. It, uh, I got this big front end area. I did remove those uh, turrets that were embedded in the front. Um, it just didn't seem very uh, like a good place for it. But I, I mean, I could put in uh, a mining or something like that in here too. It'll have plenty of storage. It's kind of designed to do some heavy lifting. Um, so more or less the function of something like the uh, Carapace C7 but smaller and cheaper, and it doesn't use XL thrusters, it's just using the uh, large thrusters. Uh, but uh, I think the body's mostly done on it. So my, my uh, release schedule is I want to uh, keep on working on this ship throughout the, the week, and maybe next weekend I'll have this thing done and I can uh, release it to the workshop. So this will be the, uh, the quicker creation. So moving on to the, uh, the Creel Space Station. Now this is the big big one that's going to take a while for sure um, and I've uh, worked on this some more too so I uh, kind of worked out uh, some more stuff going on with these rear landing pads I was building up this back area here doing some really weird block stuff <laughs> I don't even know what uh, how to explain what's going on here but you can kind of see I'm a lot of experimentation with different angles and blocks in multiple layers Kind of like there's an outer layer then it kind of backs into like an inner layer and i was going to have another layer beyond that too maybe um but where i'm uh, heading to on, on this one right now is the the next part i got to figure out and i gotta gotta kind of create a new kind of docking me mechanism i do think i want this to uh, support some helios modules um, at least two um, and my idea right now is to have some kind of tentacle that would come out the back portions here um, that actually comes to kind of a head where you'd actually dock the module to and then when you get out of the module to go into the base you actually walk through the tentacle thing whatever that is um, into the base uh, so that would work out and if it doesn't take up a lot of space it's possible to maybe add in more module bays and other locations um, and also keep it looking nice and creepy like I kind of want it to um, on the back side, too, it does kind of have this uh, big bug look to it um, with this kind of 
skinnier, uh, I don't know, it's almost like a, a back head, but this is actually part of the abdomen, but it might have some glass over here or something like that as kind of a rear room. Um, it's going to have a lot of room inside the space, too. I think I went over that before. Now, the, the, the front landing pads, um, I did rebuild those again, but it's got a big problem, I think, with the aesthetics, and that is that the front side of this was supposed to be these like squid-like arms, and then I've got these giant things here that are bigger than the arms themselves, uh, that are sticking way the heck out here, and it kind of looks weird. Uh, weird is not necessarily a bad thing, but in this case, I don't know. I um, I think I, I'm going to have to reduce the, the size of these things, um, and I wanted the uh, the squid arm kind of things to be a little bit uh, longer than what those are. And I keep on trying to modify these too, and maybe maybe these arms could just be longer on, on themselves than what they are right now. I don't know. Um, so I'll have, to, I'll have to keep playing with that, but you can kind of see where this thing's coming out at right now. Um, it should work out pretty good. These, uh, these back landing pads aren't, aren't, aren't too small. I think they can park most things. I didn't want to go too big with this stuff, uh, as it kind of messes, starts messing with the, uh, proportions of everything. So if I go too large with the, uh, the landing pads, but I'm not so worried about it because it's going to have a big hanger inside it anyway. So even if these are cut down some on the front uh, or altered in their angle position. Um, it was suggested in comments to like kind of bring them out more of an angle like this, more like a uh, army ant, um, it's mandibles. Um, and that and that could work, that could stop it from uh, sticking out so far. Um, so I'll experiment with all that stuff. Uh, but this, this will be kind of a, a little bit more of a long-term project. Um, I'm kind of excited about it because it's uh, it's really, really kind of unique I think it fits the uh, the creel uh, look pretty well um, and that's that's what I wanted that, that was kind of the problem I had with the last space station I made for creel or I didn't finish but um, it had so many issues that I didn't want to continue with it um, or this one I think is it's working out a little, little bit better and it's a little more detailed and uh, funkier design I think um, so I'll uh, keep on going with that but uh, yeah that, that's pretty much all I've got for today just curious on your thoughts on the uh, the uh, revision update to this ship, uh, if you like the changes made. Um, the only thing that's a little bit troubling for me at the moment is I've got these uh, back thrusters positioned in this angle, and I keep on wondering if they would look better if basically it was 180 off, like I had them coming out at this at a different angle this way. Here, let me get the HUD on. So, you can, so rather than angled this way, they'd be angled this way. The reason why I did it this way, though, is how it fit into the, the chassis well and the fact that this whole thing is angled uh, all the way along the side here. Um, and if I had a thruster, if I had them angled the other way, that would bulk this area up, which causes it to look weird. So, um, yeah, so like the other one, if you notice, these were angled the way I was talking about now, um, like angled at this but I just could not pull that off with uh, how these uh, how these newer ones were designed with that angle on the uh, inside going all the way around here. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, coming along pretty good. I might uh, start actually uh, texturing the hull on this uh, maybe a little later today. Um, that big monotonous texturing of the hull. Um, this will probably be again the uh, Imperial faction. Um, trying to build up some stuff for uh, that faction and some ships with different functionality. Again, this is more of a transport style ship, potentially possibly a miner um, or a uh, upgrade option so it can do mining um, and then have your uh, regular uh, functionality in it. Um, I'm still, I don't have a huge amount of room on the inside uh, for parts and things. Obviously I can fit like main stuff like a shield and a warp core generators things like that but um, as in a farm I don't know uh, you think this ship ought to have a farm or you think I ought to just uh, leave uh, not really concern about a farm on this one um, it doesn't necessarily need it it really doesn't have much room for it but I'm not saying that it's impossible to get some kind of at least smaller farm in here um, it could be done, but I don't know if uh, people want uh, farms in absolutely every creation that exists uh, <laughs> that I make that's a CV. It's, uh, 
Uh, but then again, as soon as I don't put in a farm, someone will probably be like, why doesn't it have a farm? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, try to think about everybody's uh, play style and needs. Like if I was using this as my primary ship, I would want a farm in it. Um, if I wasn't using this as a primary ship, I probably wouldn't want a farm in it. So, you know, th could this be used as a primary ship, like mid game to even probably not late game for combat or anything like that, but, uh. It probably it could, probably could be a nice uh, mid mid game ship, and that's that's kind of the goal. Now it is also a hardened steel on the hull. Um, it's probably going to get a couple more turret positions, especially on the bottom side, which is I don't have any, but I could uh, easily uh, fit some turrets in like some of these corners and things like that, which would work out pretty good. The landing gear are uh, mounted on the actual uh, chassis now, and not on the. Uh, uh, thruster housing so you got it landing gear there and there um, and yeah this uh, I, I love these doors but I tell you what I could save a whole lot of blocks in the interior space if I used a regular ramp which really sucks I mean because this looks so much nicer than a regular ramp um, for sure but it's just it requires this huge amount of block buildup around it to to hold these things um, due to the nature of how thick they are um, it's causing me to raise up the floor in this entire area to be able to put this part in there which I could lower it, all this down by a block gain interior space if I used an old traditional ramp um, but I looks wise this just looks so much better than an old traditional ramp that I'd hate to not do it um, but maybe this works out too because the floor is very uneven on the sides here anyway so I'll pretty much just have to fill all this in with blocks and have some wasted space or try to put something in there um, maybe actually you know this is a pretty nice opportunity actually to put in like a, a shield or something that's a three it would definitely have the height yeah I don't know I'll, uh, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, play with the interior on it um, Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I just thought I'd show you uh, what's been going on. I've been pretty busy as of late with uh, Imperium trying to get stuff done, kind of putting in a lot more hours in it and not doing a whole lot of other things. But, uh, I, yeah, I kind of got that uh, that bug, that building bug back. I was sort of uh, kind of feeling a little burned out for a while, um, and I needed something to uh, revitalize, and I think... Uh, this creates a kind of spark that I got into some serious uh, fun block work building and stuff like that. And this one I just was uh, really bent on trying to get this thing um, to be neater and neater and neater. And if I can find something else I can do with it yet to make it uh, try to try to make it look a little better than it is, uh, I'll, I'll definitely do that. But I think the hall is pretty finalized at this point. I think everything will work. Um, and I, it should be easy not having to deal with too much heat and radiation on the inside as well due to the uh, the separation of the uh, the thru most of the thrusters off the hull of the body or all the, uh, beyond range of the hull of the body with uh, heat and rads. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. And uh, let me know if you got any uh, questions or uh, comments. And I will uh, talk to you later.